Well, hello guys from the Wine Country RV Resort in Paso Robles, California, and we're gonna enjoy some more of the resort amenities today. I'm excited about this one. I'm excited too, because it takes all responsibility off of us to behave and lands it on our new friend Hi. named Kat, also known as wine tour operator and designated driver. <laughs> yes, so we can safely go wine tasting and enjoy ourselves and then walk right back to the RV when it's all done. So I'm gonna take you over here really really quick first to Luso Della Terra. Good, how are you? Good, morning. You ready to some wine? Yeah. Because um, we started making wine in the garage. And, yeah, so we actually own this together. Um, and you know, he started in college and he was an accountant and started working at wineries and hated his job and kept hanging out in the cellar. They told him to go to Davis and go get a degree. That's and, a good school for yeah, it. So that's what he did is he went and got a degree in winemaking. Oh, and then fine. we worked at was it Chateau Saint Jean, Cake Bread, Ron Bauer. I worked his way up while making wine in the living room in the garage. Oh, that's and great. So, yeah, we opened up our first tasting room three years ago downtown. And then our facility was it two years ago. And we were in 2,000 square feet. And then now we're in 10,000 square feet. Wow. Congratulations on the growth. So it's really cool. He makes really good wine. I bet. And here we go. This is our very first pour. First people to ever try it. I feel very special. It has not it's been released, even to our wine gift. club. My mom hasn't even tried it. Wow. So, wow. This requires a, a toast. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> mm. And you just bottled it last mm. week. Oh, oh, that's nice. Well, here's our facility. We make wine for about 30 other wineries. Uh, we do a lot of stuff for grocery stores. Uh -huh. uh, so they send in their wine and they send an empty glass their caps and labels and then we send it down our bottling line so we can do about 2,000 cases in a day and then we'll ship it back out to their warehouse and then they distribute it to their different stores That's so, yeah. yeah sometimes we get to make it from start to finish from the vineyard and then the other times they have their own wine makers that make them but um, they don't have enough time to bottle it so okay. uh, bottling is like a whole nother part of winemaking and that's Ed's specialties because a lot of winemakers like to walk away and like like not ah. not yeah hurt. yeah it's okay. just too stressful sure um, and there's a lot of things that you have to do to the wine before it goes in bottle to make sure it stays safe so sure. um, yes. there's this different step so this is Santa Lucia Highlands uh, 2017 Pinot Noir it came into our winery this uh, last September and um, now we just uh, topped and sulfured them and having it safe and it's gonna sit in the barrel for probably another year before we bottle it oh wow wow you have to have such patience to be a winemaker. It's not instant gratification. It's, it's not. so frustrating. <laughs> this smells very meaty. Does that make sense? Like yeah. or like cigars or uh, it's very. I don't know. I haven't tried it yet. Mm. Oh yeah, that's a brand new barrel. Mm. Do you mind shimmying? Oh, not at all. I was yeah. waiting for permission to oh, yeah, shimmy. Oh, sorry. I always forget. Yeah, don't worry <laughs> about it. Just don't hurt yourself. Ooh. Real behind the scenes tour. So much fun. So this one is. <laughs> I love this. Going to just that barrel right over there. <laughs> well, the winemaker wrote taste on it. He picked yeah. it out especially for oh, you. Oh, that's great. So he went through and tried them all real quick. That's why he left us because he wanted to make sure you got a good barrel. And I don't know what it is. Um, I yeah, I don't, I don't see the tag. Right. sports. Okay, yeah. So you're my guinea pig. But he says it's good. You can also kind of see since we're jammed in here. That's our press. So we press all the grapes in there after they're done fermenting. Um, it's one of our little toys. If you want to give me your number, I can call you or text you and let you know when we're bottling this month when you're here. And you can watch the whole process of the bottling go. Oh, wow. That too. would you be can, so we can cool. You guys like taste from the tank. And the wine that we're doing is actually going into grocery outlet. So we can show you like the label of the wine and like... Yeah, literally, we're getting the truck coming in. So you can see the tanker truck coming in, <clears throat> us putting the wine into the tank. You can taste it from the tank um, right as it's going into uh -huh. the bottling line and then watch it go that all the way through. So yeah, 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 we'll have to go to San yeah. Diego for a week or so. Okay. But yeah, we'll be off yeah. and on in the area. And if we're lucky enough to be yeah, around here, here, when your I'll schedule you know. works, yeah, yeah. Totally. it'll be kind of cool. Numbers, that yeah. Okay. So much fun. yeah, it's always fun to like watch that. And then 
it's super cool because like when when you go to the grocery store and like see it in there, you're like, hey. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> like the it's, finished product. Yeah, it's really fun. Thank you, Megan. Thank you. It was nice we really you. enjoyed nice this. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too. And right. just as a closing, here's the shout out. <laughs> Luso de la Terra, Casa <laughs> Robles. Awesome. <laughs> see you later. Bye. You, Happy New Year. Thank you. Great first choice, Kat. Good. I'm glad you liked it. Thank you. Awesome. I, it's one of my favorites. Well, we're off to a good start. <laughs> are, I'm feeling really good right now. Yeah, <laughs> just getting warmed up. Okay, this is Dove Say Robles. It's one of the oldest wineries here. There's a pretty neat view of That's Paso Robles hillsides here. Today. Yeah, it's beautiful. great view. Yeah. Well, this is our 2012 estate Malbec. Mm, my favorite. For you. I love Malbecs. Well, this is a very unique Malbec. It's, really? It's pretty light. It's actually the first Malbec that my boss has ever created. Mm -hmm. um, he planted those vines and got the first harvest in 2012. And so put mm. this one together. He actually was really decided good. to plant Malbec in the vineyard because his wife tasted it on a vacation um, <laughs> in the early 2000s and she just loved it. It's and such so a good when wine. he needed to, he had to pull out some Zinfandel and when he decided to replant and put in three acres of Malbec. So she pulled mm. the executive card and <laughs> said, we're going to grow Malbec. Right. Well, awesome. you know, I think he actually kind of did that as like a nice thing for her. That's good. Yeah. And, uh, but she definitely does pull the executive card from time to time. Occasionally. And then she, I think she drops the hints. As every wife does. And then he, you know, is a, <laughs> then he makes it happen. As every wife does. As every wife does. <laughs> thank well, you. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye. So Kat suggested an olive oil and vinegar taste oh if you insist cat <laughs> now is there gonna be it's, french bread there because i really uh, have some could, really good bread i could use some starch yes, by now absolutely so this is zin alley he this is all dry farmed he has three and a half acres i think and uh, it's dry farmed and he doesn't use any uh, pesticides and uh, frank is a really neat uh, guy i like frank's sense of humor Stupidity is not a handicap park elsewhere. And then over here, hippies use back door, no exceptions. Oh, wait. And he, then. He changed the door. He's got great taste. There's a Willie's flat fender Jeep over here. Forget the wine right now, guys. This thing is gorgeous. Wow. The vineyard that you pass coming up the hill is all I have. It's three acres of dry farm fruit. Uh, I planted it, me and my buddy planted it in 96. It is a true dry farm vineyard. Uh, it's never been watered. I don't use any fertilizers on it, sprays or pesticides. I've been doing it that way my entire life before it was really cool. So it's nothing new for me. This yeah, I was very you... fascinated when Kat said you dry farm all this. This is what they used to do. Yeah. There was no water involved in growing grapes or Barley, we grew barley and walnuts and almonds. None of that stuff was watered. Some years you get a lot, some years you don't. It's California, you just gotta live with what you have, you know. So you just gotta learn how to save it. Mm hmm. Now that's a cooler vintage 15, a lot of red, wow. a lot of red fruits, a lot of white pepper, spice, mm -hmm. peppermint, cinnamon. I love the chemistry of making wine, it's amazing when you can. Yeah, it's it's, see it's it a fascinating much. business. I mean, it's. I've never done anything else, so it's uh, every year throws new challenges at me, and I like it. It's probably going to be one of the cleanest ports you've ever tasted. It looks. It looks is a very ruby light. style port. Ports are always a special treat. Yeah. After dinner, mm. you'll taste a lot of mocha, a lot of chocolate, coffee, mm. black cherry. Oh, that's very good. The, the growers usually don't want this mold in their vineyard because it's a, it'll devastate them financially, it'll ruin their crop. But for this, it's gorgeous. Oh, I'm, I'm excited, excited to try this. Yeah, really? And the so this is this the after hours, after hours yes? Yeah. It's like ice wine, only mm -hmm. thicker. Mm. It's like ice wine on steroids. That's really unique. Yeah, it is different. It's like a cordial. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. So you said it's grown with Pinot Blanc? This is made with Pinot Blanc, 100% oh Pinot my. Blanc. Frank, you have some amazing <laughs> flavors <laughs> and tastes here. They are different. Mm -hmm. I think, are we going to agree on the after hours? Yeah, because it's so unique. <laughs> yeah. That was amazing.
Yeah, yeah I, would, I, would, I would store this fairly cool. It doesn't have to be in the refrigerator, but okay. around 60. And after you open it, if you just put it in the refrigerator like this with the cork in it, mm -hmm. you can keep it indefinitely. Really? Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. well, that's nice because then you, so can you don't have to drink it, it once in a while. Real quick. Thank you very much, My Frank. My pleasure. Thank you. Okay, guys, we're at I'm Zen really Alley. Okay, that was probably one of the most unique things I've tasted today. It was so good. That was Ooh. great. Sunglasses. But yeah, totally three for three, cat. Awesome. I have to hear. Thank you. Wow. The clouds and uh, views here are really great. That's the Levo's tasting room. It's different. You get to taste some olive oils instead of wine. We've wanted to do this the whole time we've been on the Central Coast and it's never worked out. Yeah, thank so you I'm for the recommendation. That you suggested this. Another detour for a uh, gearhead. They have good taste in automobiles. An old Land Rover. Awesome. Somebody's in heaven. They have personal care products. Lotions. Balms. Soaps. They have uh, salts and spices as well. How it works is we have four extra virgin olive oils to taste. We have flavored olive oils to taste. We have salt, spices, and vinegars to taste with them. So I'll put them down for complimentary to the oils and everything. Does that sound like fun? That Amazing. sounds like a lot of fun. Okay. This is our cucina. It's light and buttery and smooth. You can bake with it. You can cook with it. You can drizzle it over popcorn. So open up your bread. Mmm. Mmm. Good olive oil. Olive oil is so good. This is our showstopper. This is our basil. This basil is made by taking 500 pounds of fresh organic basil, adding it to one ton of olives, milling them together, and then pressing it all at once. This is a really fun tasting it chair. Is. Thank you. It's very interactive and it's a refreshing change and then you get to soak up some of the alcohol from the wine tasting. <laughs> yeah. I'm much clearer than I was when I walked in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I would just Cheers. be going last to Alaska. Cheers. There, right? So this is Whalebone, yeah. our last stop. Whoo! Oh, a nice amazing. little tray. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's awesome. Oh. We got a little snack tray as part of the mm -hmm. tour. <laughs> door to door service. Love it. Absolutely. Uh, beer wine bar behind you is open too. Huh, it's nap time for me. Yeah. Hey. Hi. How you doing? How's the you girl? Good girl? So I just gotta say. Having a wine tour that takes place right here in the RV resort was so nice. And especially if you're gonna be a mature, responsible adult and not drink and drive, or you know, if you don't have like a designated driver, it works out perfect and it's she dropped us right at our Yeah, RV. well and it's better than causing an accident or anything along those lines. So Well and truthfully it was a very reasonable price. Totally, for the yeah. It's fifty dollars a person. But you look at the big picture. You can release, you can have fun. You don't like get drunk or anything irresponsible like that. It's just but really relaxed. Yeah, it just takes the pressure off. So thank you very much, Wine Country RV. We really appreciate it. And it's a wrap for today. Yeah, and a special thanks to Kat. We had a really yeah. good time with her. It was a lot of fun. So stay tuned, there's more adventures coming from the Central Coast of California. Mm -hmm.